Hello all, and today we will discuss how to snapshot an existing EBS volume and then create a new EBS volume out of the snapshot and then attach that new EBS volume to another EC2 instance. Before we proceed ahead with the demo, I would like to point out to you that this video assumes that the EC2 instance is launched and the EBS volume is attached and mounted. If you need to know how to create an EBS volume and attach it to an EC2 instance, please refer to my video, create an EBS volume and attach it to a running Linux EC2 instance. If you would like to know how to mount and attach EBS volume on a running Linux EC2 instance, please refer to my video, how to mount an attached EBS volume on a Linux, Linux EC2 instance. Okay, so now let's uh, proceed with the demo. So let me switch quickly to my uh, AWS account. So this is my AWS account. And as you see, my uh, original Linux instance is here. So as I said, this uh, demonstration is in continuation to the previous two videos. So please refer to those videos. I will have those links posted in the description of uh, this video as well. Now, as you see, this is the public IP, it's the T2 micro instance, and this is a security group, and I have enabled port 80 and 22 uh, on this uh, security group for inbound communication. To speed up the uh, recording and shorten the video length, I have actually SSH'd into this uh, EC2 instance. So as you see, this is my uh, EC2 instance right here, and I'm going to type the command lsblk to basically enlist all the EBS volumes that are attached and mounted to this running EC2 instance. So as you see, the original uh, volume is attached and mounted and the external EBS volume that I had created in the previous video is also attached and mounted to on our uh, EC2 instance. Okay, so in the previous video, I had actually created a file uh, called as my file uh, on this particular uh, EBS volume. So let's go ahead and check if our file is still present. So I'm going to type ls minus l. And as you see, our file is still present over here. Let's go ahead and edit and check out its contents again. So the command for that is vim my file. So go ahead and click enter. And as you see, uh, our uh, file is still intact over here and currently it's open in a read-only mode. So let's go ahead and quit. Okay, so as you see, our EBS volume is attached, it's mounted, our file is present. So the next thing that we are going to do now is go ahead and create a snapshot of our EBS volume. So how do we go about creating a snapshot? In order to create a snapshot, scroll further down and as you see you see snapshots over here under EBS elastic block store in this case so click on snapshots okay and then click on create snapshot and then click on volume and here we have to select the volume that we want to create a snapshot of now I had actually created this volume my EBS volume for Linux EC2 which was the one G, uh, uh, GB volume where we have created the file and the, the same volume was mounted to our EC2 instance. So let's go ahead and select that particular volume. As I'm selected that volume, I'm gonna give this uh, snapshot some description on names. I'm gonna give my EBS snapshot as the name, I'm gonna copy as a description, sorry. And I'll be actually giving uh, the same as the name as well. And then let's go ahead and click, click on create snapshot. Okay, so our snapshot request was successful. And as you see, it's currently in a pending state. It is of the same size, one GB. And let's go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to do the same name here. Okay, and let's go ahead and click on refresh. So our snapshot should be available 
in a bit. There it is. So a snapshot has completed, as you see, and it is available. So the next thing that we will do now is we will use this snapshot to create another EBS volume. So let's go ahead and create another EBS volume. So click on actions, then click on create volume. And as you see, it automatically took the snapshot name, the size, and the volume type. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on create volume. And a volume request, creation request was successful. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this volume a name. So I'm going to give this a name as my EBS from my snapshot. Okay, so it looks like our snapshot is ready now. Okay, so time to attach a snapshot to an EC2 instance. So as you see, I have created a new Linux EC2 instance over here and then I've given it the name my new Linux EC2. This is the IP address, it's a T2 micro. And again, it has the public IP SG as a security group, which has port 80 and 22 uh, open inbound. And it's using the keypair AWS keypair. So let's go ahead now and attach our volume to this uh, EC2 instance. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to volumes and uh, this is my volume. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my volume to my EC2 instance. So let's click on attach volume and then select our a new Linux EC2 instance. We are going to uh, mount this basically this device but uh, uh, sorry, attach this Linux device as slash dev slash stf. So let's click on attach. And now our volume should be attached shortly. So let's just wait for that. Now, in order to speed up the demo, what I have done is I have actually, um, you know, SSH'd into our new Linux EC2 instance over here. So let's go ahead and check what all uh, is currently attached to this EC2 instance. So as you see, we have two EBS volumes. This is the default EBS volume and this is the new EBS volume that we created from our snapshot that is attached to our EC2 instance. Okay, so our, although our volume is attached to our EC2 instance, it's not yet mounted. So let's go ahead and create a directory for our uh, EBS volume. So the command uh, for that is sudo mkdir. But before we do that, let's switch to the root user. So the command for that is sudo su. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a directory. So that would be mk. DIR and I'm going to give it the name my new DIR hit enter so our directory was created successfully now the next thing that we need to do is mount our uh, EBS volume so let's go ahead and do that and the command for that is SUTO mount sudo mount and then the device name so in this case it's going to be slash dev slash xvdf and we have to give the mounting point or the directory path. So in this case, it's going to be my new DIR. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And our uh, EBS volume was successfully mounted. So let's check if it was successfully mounted. So let's go ahead and enlist all the volumes again. And as you see, our volume was successfully mounted and now it's available for use. 
So if you remember, we had created this EVS volume from our previous uh, Linux EC2 instance where we had uh, basically created a file and then we actually took a snapshot of our volume over there and then we use that snapshot to create this volume. So if that is true, then our file from that we had created on our earlier EC2 instance, which we verified before, should be available on this uh, EBS volume. So let's go ahead and check if that is true and that file is still available. Okay, so let's go and switch our directory to my new EIR because that's where our volume has been mounted. So hit enter and then say ls minus l. And as you see, our file is available over here. You see my file, is this the same file that was there? So let's go ahead and say vim my file. And as you see, the contents of the file are visible. And this is the same file that is over here. Sorry, I think I gave the wrong name. Sorry, Linux is case sensitive. So this is the same file. So this is the old EC2 instance. This is the new EC2 instance. And the file actually got successfully copied over because we took a snapshot of our EVS volume on our old EC2 instance and then created a new EVS volume out of that snapshot and attached that to our new EC2 instance. Okay guys, so that's all from me today. Uh, please do provide your feedback and comments if you would like me to create a video on some another topic then do let me know thank you i hope this was helpful and uh, i will see you soon on with some another video take care bye bye